Hello, my name is Nama. Welcome to another Lingo Learn Hebrew lesson. To sign up for a free trial lesson, click on the link below. Today, we will speak about male and female in Hebrew. We'll use the past tense. In Hebrew, past is called aval. Male is called zachar, and female is called nekeva. We'll use the yellow color in the presentation to represent the male and the blue color in the presentation to represent the female. Here are the pronouns translated into Hebrew. I in Hebrew is ani. You used in singular is ata for you in male and a for you in female. He is who and she, which might get you mixed up in the beginning, is he. It's pronounced the same as he, male, but it's for female. In Hebrew, we use three letters to represent the word, and we add other letters in the beginning, middle, or end to represent the tense or the pronoun. We will use the three letters nun he gimel, representing the word drive, nahag. Here we're using the third person. He drove, she drove. In Hebrew, hu nahag, he nahaga. As you can see, there's use of the three letters in each word. In the she word, we add another letter at the end and we say instead of nahag, nahaga. Here we have a few words to give an example of how you use the verbs in Hebrew. Ani achalti tapuach. I ate an apple. Ani is I. Tapuach is apple. In Hebrew, in past tense, first person, you use the same word for male and female. You use the three letters of the verb. Alif chaf lamet for achal eight, and then you add the sound t at the end to make it first person in past. Ata yashavta al kise, at yashavt al kise. Ata you in male, at you in female. Kise chair, yashavta yashav sat. For you in male, we use. Yashavta. For you and female, we use Yashavt. Who katav mikhtav? He katva mikhtav. Who is he? And he is she. Katav wrote mikhtav letter. He wrote a letter, she wrote a letter. In third person, past tense, we use katav for he and katva for she. Okay, let's see what we learn now. We have ani, which is I. We have ata, which is you in male. We have at, which is you in female. And we have he, which is pronounced who, and she, which is pronounced he. And here we have the verb sat, you chin bet, three letters. And we'll see if we can figure out which verb belongs to which pronoun. Here we have yashav, yashavta, yashav, yashavti, yashva. If you want to test yourself, you may pause the video. And I will now turn to the page with the answers. So here we have the answers to the test. Ani, I, yashavti. And we said that in this case, the male and the female have the same way of pronouncing the verb. Yashavti. Ata, which is you, male in singular. Yashavta. At, which is you, in female singular. Yashavt. Ata, you, yashavta. At, you, yashavt. Who, which is he, is yashav. And she, which is pronounced he, is Yeshva. Thank you for watching the video. 
To sign up for a free trial lesson, click the link below.